Dietary fiber is the carbohydrate in plant foods that your body can't digest. Now in particular, soluble fiber draws water into your gut, which helps soften stools and regulate um, bowel movements. So in this video, we're looking at its top five sources. Number one, black beans. Black beans are not only a great way to give your dishes a meaty texture, but they're also really high in soluble fiber. One cup or 170 grams packs 15 grams of fiber, which is about what an average person consumes in an entire day, or 40 to 60% of the recommended daily intake for men and women. And black beans contain pectin, which is a form of soluble fiber that becomes gummy-like in water. This can delay stomach emptying and make you feel fuller for longer, giving your body more time to absorb nutrients. Black beans are also rich in protein and iron. They're low in calories and basically fat free. So if you don't eat them, why not? Number two, avocados. Hus avocados are the most common type. They're particularly rich in monounsaturated fatty acids, potassium, and of course fiber. One avocado packs 13.5 grams of dietary fiber. However, one serving or one third of the fruit provides about 4.5 grams of which 1.4 are soluble. So avocado is rich in both soluble and insoluble fiber, which helps it really stand out in this regard. Uh, additionally, they're really high in antioxidants like vitamin E. Number three, Brussels sprouts. Now the world may be divided into Brussels sprouts lovers and Brussels sprouts haters. Whatever side you sit on, there's no doubt that they are incredibly good for you. What's more, Brussels sprouts are a great source of fiber with four grams per cup or per 150 gram serving. The soluble fiber uh, in these guys can be used to feed beneficial gut bacteria, otherwise known as a prebiotic. So the same goes for other cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower and broccoli, but you already knew those were healthy, I hope. Number four, sweet potatoes. There are many different names for sweet potatoes, such as yams uh, in large parts of the US or kamara in New Zealand. Whatever you call them, the average Sweet potato contains about four grams of fiber, of which almost half is soluble. Therefore, sweet potatoes can contribute significantly to your total soluble fiber intake. Um, they're also really high in potassium, beta carotene, and B vitamins, and I encourage everyone to eat them more often. Number five, figs. Now, apparently figs were one of the first cultivated plants in human history. I'm a bit of a history buff, so I found that particularly interesting. But to stick to the topic, both dried and fresh figs are great sources of soluble fiber, as well as some other nutrients like magnesium, potassium, uh, and some B vitamins. Now, based on anecdotal evidence, dried figs have been used as a home remedy to improve constipation for centuries. Well, there was one study that found um, fig paste improved constipation in dogs. Um, there isn't any human research. I guess no one has felt particularly compelled to fund uh, fig research on constipation, which is fair enough. Last thing I want to mention, if you are going to increase your soluble fiber intake, it's best to start really slowly and build up. Don't eat all these things at one time. It's also a good idea to drink plenty of water when you increase your fiber intake. Um, this helps the soluble fiber um, become a gel-like substance in your gut, which is going to aid and improve digestion. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.